What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. One of the beautiful things I like about summer is that the sun comes up earlier and it sets later. So way at 9 p.m. is setting after 9 p.m., close to 10 p.m. And then, you know, early in the morning, like it is right now, between 5.30 and 5.45, it's starting to uh, come up or it's been coming up a while. So I sleep with my windows open uh, with the blackout shades open. I really never shut them. Um, unless I'm trying to get some sleep in the daytime, which I'm not, because I'm always out working. And I can always just see the sunrise. And every hotel room that I go to uh, throughout the country and outside of the country, I always just open up the windows and just let the sunrise. So the city is beautiful as usual. I'm down here by the Spirit of Detroit. Hart Plaza is right across the street. Canada is right over there. The only people that's up with me is people that's trying to get it. Uh, and the people that's making sure that the streets is clean over here in Detroit downtown improvement business improvement zone people they all out here power washing everything making sure that everything is clean every single day and so i love the city i love what the city is becoming and it's absolutely awesome but let me tell you something right first of all i don't really pay attention to holidays right i know it's the fourth of july uh but for the most part holidays don't really mean anything to me because again it's a man-made thing in order to get people to do stuff that they want you to do instead of you doing what you want to do. I don't need a hol holiday or a special commemorative day in order to celebrate something. I don't even really care about celebrating my birthday because every day is a gift. Every day is the present to me. I don't need to wait until Easter to go to church. I don't have to wait until Christmas to celebrate Jesus. I don't have to do any of that stuff. And so I look at every day as a gift and I operate within my gift in order to show praise, appreciation by putting it all out on the line. And it doesn't mean that I don't rest, but I don't do it according to the rules that you set for me. I do it according to what makes the most sense for me. So holidays is not the same for me. As a matter of fact, I look at what you define as a holiday as an opportunity to get ahead of you and beat you. So I don't really care about that. Uh, I get up at the same time every single day. I don't go based off of a weekend. Most people think that the week starts on Monday. The, the week actually starts on Sunday, right? That's the beginning of the week. The Sabbath, for most people, is supposed to be a Saturday. And so a lot of people just goes based off of whatever society crafts for them. I don't live my life based off of that. I live my life based off of the rules that I make for myself that more or less allows for me to be conducive or, or to be productive and you know, to, to make sure that I'm beating you and getting ahead of you. So I'm always gonna do that. Of course, I'm gonna be live streaming today on the Millionaire Morning Show. So I'll see y'all for that. Uh, the second thing that I wanna discuss with you guys is people that say, um, you only care about money. And I always laugh at people that say, oh man, you only care about money, or are they just a capitalist? That is translation broke talk. Every single person that says that is broke as hell or they were once in a position where they was getting money and now they not in that position anymore and in order to validate their existence or to validate the fact that they're not as productive or they're not getting money or they're not associated with certain people anymore that's getting money or that's still successful they try to paint the picture as though the person is evil or they only care about money or they only capitalistic you know that's bullshit it's 100 percent bullshit for every person, something is meaningful to them. People are meaningful to them. And just because you don't necessarily talk about it with them or they don't understand it, they try to use the fact that you are successful against you. But you can't use success against a person that's successful. That's the very thing that allows for you to show that you are a productive member of society, especially as a man. As a man, you're supposed to provide. Now, if you selling drugs to your community, right, or and which that's isn't it funny though they never say that shit about a drug dealer they never say that something say that about somebody that's poisoned in their community they don't say it about rappers even though they they basically are promoting the thing that's the worst for you they say it about people that's getting it legally but the person that is productive as possible but because you don't operate based off of their timeline or you don't operate based off of whatever it is that they think makes the most sense or you ain't put them on because as long as you putting them on it's going to get to the money, right? It's going to make sense. But as long as you disassociate yourself with all of that shit, but as long as you continue to be productive, then it's, oh, they capitalistic, oh, they only care about the money. Nah, I care about my bag when it comes to being productive and making sure that my family is taken care of, 
and that I'm taking care of and capitalizing off of the opportunity that's in front of me. I'm not gonna waste no opportunity in order to keep it real with you motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never tried to keep it real for you. I keep it real for the people that is meaningful to me. And I don't worry about what broke niggas is talking about. You know who else I see saying that shit? I see a lot of people saying that type of stuff. And I'm gonna keep my foot on their necks because you will know them by their fruits, not by how many fringes that they wear. And these Hebrew Israelites say the same thing. And I like using them as an example because I think that they are what is wrong with the church and they are what's wrong with society. Meaning that they can study the word all they want, but if your life is not a reflection of the thing that you advocate for, then what, what difference do it make? It's called being a hypocrite. I know a whole lot of people that know the Bible. The devil know the Bible, but it don't necessarily mean that it translates. If you don't know how to translate it and put it into your real life and then let your life be a reflection of the light that shines, if you're not helping nobody and putting nobody on, if you're not giving nobody no job, if you can't provide for your family, if you die today and your whole family got to figure out how to do a fish fry in order for you to be buried, then that's a problem because again, you will know them by their fruits. If you look at the Bible and you read the word, pretty much almost all of the people that God loved the most were incredibly productive and they were uh, successful as a result of it. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else will be added unto you. All of them was incredibly successful. Even the ones that was the most tested was the most blessed. And then you also have to refer over into the talents, right? The ones that were most productive versus the ones that buried their talents into the ground he took it away from them he gave it to the one that was the most successful and so you will know them by their fruits and just because you are productive does not mean that you don't love god it does not mean that you don't love family and i and i associate people that say that all they do is care about money to people that are failures in life or is always going to be mediocre and instead of them getting themselves together and then showing themselves to be productive members of society and then letting that speak through the work because your work that's why i pull the receipts that's why I live my life like an open book. Because anybody can say a bunch of stuff, but very few people can actually give you the game on how to be successful as a result of it. If the sum total of your life is just that you came up here and you breathed a bunch of air, but it didn't translate into anything, then what life is that worth living? All you did was take up resources and you didn't leave this earth in a better space as a result of you being here, then that's a problem. That is absolutely a problem. I'm on my bike right now. I'm about to go ahead into the uh go ahead into the office but that is a problem and i and i see a lot of people that are unproductive members of society they broke they sit at the crib all day they play video games even when they jump on the internet it doesn't produce anything they're not even making no money i see a lot of y'all over here y'all be live streaming for four five six seven eight nine hours and y'all don't even be talking about nothing at all so listen, don't let brokies shame you into being broke and try to validate their existence by trying to act like you not being productive and you not being successful is not supposed to translate into you getting paid. Meanwhile, they'll sit over there and beg people for $15 an hour, for $20 an hour in order to up the minimum wage so they could do the minimum things in order to get paid and you out here making it, making a way and putting people on and putting people in a position of power. And you supposed to acquiesce over into their lifestyle in order to validate, you know, the fact that you a real one. No, nah, the real ones actually put people in a position of power. They are pro producers and they give people jobs and they give people opportunities to feed their families. That's what the definition of being real is to me. It ain't all of this other fake shit keeping it real shit. They gonna keep you real broken in the hood and you ain't gonna be able to feed your family and guess what, they ain't got two nickels to rub together in order to ensure that you're gonna be all right. And that's real. It don't get no realer than that. That's real talk. All of this other stuff is just nonsense. If you can't translate your talent and it don't mean that you can't be productive also or you can't be positive also, if you can't translate your talent and learn how to also get compensated fairly for it and you always gotta beg somebody else for what it is that you feel like you deserve, not what you earn, but what you feel like you deserve, then that means that you're just a sucker and you a beggar like everybody else. You looking for the man to take care of y'all. That's why y'all keep asking for reparations because you ain't productive. And if it ain't for the government subsidizing your lifestyle in order to ensure that you're okay, then you wouldn't even survive. 
I don't wanna hear that bullshit. You can miss me with all of that tough talk and all of that come to my or whatever the fuck y'all be saying, man. I don't care nothing about that, kind of bro. And I also need to work on my person. I really do. I gotta work on stop cursing so much. Not that I don't, uh, that, that I think that cursing is, is, is wrong in particular, but I just think that I can communicate a little bit more effectively than I do. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to see y'all for the Millionaire Morning Show. Um, it's so peaceful in the city when nobody is up. And the only people that's up is the people that's looking to get to it first. Sometimes you ain't even got to be the best at what you do. All you got to do is get there first. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. What up, though? I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I am going to holler at y'all later on today. Deuces, big dog.